At the moment, the patches are coming thick and fast for Battlefield 5. We've not long seen the May patch released, which introduced some really powerful medic crate changes. And now, DICE is dropping the first June update tomorrow, Tuesday the 4th. It's going to address a few bugs and issues within the game at the moment. It's not the biggest patch in the world, but it's going to fix some problems. And, you know, that makes the experience better for everybody. Also in this video, we're going to discuss some other topics as well. But before we dive into all of that, I want to let you know something that's quite important. In my video yesterday, I said that currently I didn't know what I'd be getting to play at EA Play later this week when it came to Battlefield 5. Well, this morning I woke up to an email detailing everything that I'll get to play, so I've got a much better idea of what content I can actually make for you all. That information is still under embargo, so I can't tell you anything yet, but what I can say is that the moment the capture sessions finish, I don't have to wait to post a video anymore. I can post the gameplay as soon as I leave the capture session. So this weekend, make sure you're tuned into my channel, subscribe with notifications switched on, hit that bell next to subscribe and make sure they are on. That way you'll know the moment I post a video, you can watch some brand new gameplay of Battlefield 5. But just before we get into those patch notes, this video today is sponsored by Elgato Gaming. If you're looking to up your streaming game, then these guys are best placed to help you with products like the brand new Stream Deck XL that can be programmed to execute thousands of different commands. Or if you're just looking to start sharing your gameplay with the world, then something like the HD60S will be great for capturing gameplay in HD resolution. Click the link at the top of the description to learn more. Right then, let's dive into some of the fixes that are coming in this first June patch. Starting off with the Firestorm game mode and a big fix straight away, DICE has at last fixed that really annoying issue where if a player leaves a server, their loot wouldn't drop on the ground. Once this patch goes live, their entire inventory will drop on the ground and it's going to be available for you to go and loot. It's been a long time coming, but it's finally been fixed. An exploit within the pre-round airplane hangar has been fixed. That exploit would allow players to glitch out of the hangar and get onto the map before anybody else, which is obviously not ideal. It was some kind of geometry glitch and you could sort of work your body through something and you could get outside. Whatever the issue was, it's now been fixed so somebody doesn't get an unfair advantage. And a parachute draw distance has been increased with this update and that's going to make it easier for you to know how many people may or may not be dropping near to you at the start of a match. Next up, we've got some specific weapon bug fixes. The brand new boys AT rifle had a bug with one of its specializations, the APCR rounds at level 4 of the tree. When those were applied, they didn't work properly against tanks. They weren't doing the damage that they were supposed to do to that intended target. That's now been fixed with this update, so if you do want to do extra damage to tanks with those rounds, from tomorrow you can reset your specialization tree and you can apply those rounds if you want to. And the Tromboncino's progress was inadvertently tied to the Commando Carbine for some reason. Some players found that when they unlocked the new Tromboncino, it was already leveled up and they couldn't set specializations properly and they couldn't reset the tree either. That's also been fixed with this patch, so from tomorrow if you have those issues, you shouldn't have them anymore. Next on the fix list, DICE believes they've managed to improve the stability of the spectator mode within Battlefield 5. Now for a few patches, the spectator mode has been crashing just near constantly. I've had a lot of people on Twitter messaging me saying it doesn't work for maybe even more than a minute in some cases, which is really frustrating. And this means that for a lot of the creative folks out there within the community who love taking screenshots, these guys have basically been fighting with the game engine to try and capture their images before the game crashes and they lose all of their work. Again, really frustrating. Now, the last patch did have some wording in it that suggested that DICE had improved the stability of Spectator, but as it turned out, the fix wasn't specifically for the crash that was causing most of the problems. So, here's to hoping that DICE finally got that bug stamped out with this patch. Now, unfortunately, the stuttering issues that have been plaguing Battlefield 5 for the last couple of months, those haven't been addressed with this brand new patch. DICE is still working to try and rid the game of the issue, but they do believe that they've now identified the source of the problem. So it hasn't been fixed yet, but a fix will be on the horizon very soon. It could well be the next patch for the game, which will likely come out mid to late June. 
However, interestingly, last week I managed to somehow get rid of the issue on my PC version of Battlefield 5. I launched Battlefield 5 through Origin as normal, nothing changed there, but for some reason the game launched as if it was the first time it had ever run on my PC, so all of my normal settings had been wiped, the game launched in windowed mode and it asked me to set my brightness, which is what happens the first time you launch Battlefield games on your PC, and then it tried to launch me straight into the single player campaign, so I definitely knew my client had been reset in some way. So I set about changing everything back to what I was comfortable with and then I launched into a match on the new Mercury map and the stuttering had almost completely disappeared. No more random frame drops when I was killing people, way less noticeable stutter when assignment trackers appeared on the left hand side of the screen, no wonky zoom in animations that just took forever to complete and would jump from the moment the animation started to me just literally standing in the middle of the map, all of that would just disappear that didn't happen anymore. I was getting smooth animations again, which I hadn't had for nearly six weeks. Now, honestly, I have absolutely no idea what the hell happened to cause this complete reset of my Battlefield 5 client, but whatever happened almost completely cured the issue. Like I said, there was still some stuttering with the assignment system, but I think that's an inherent problem that DICE are trying to fix as well as the major stuttering happening in other places. Now, there is a chance that the reset of my client also cleared the shader cache for my graphics card, which has been known to cause stuttering issues with other Frostbite games in the past. I can remember the shader cache being an issue for players of Battlefront 2 as well, and clearing the folder seemed to clear up a lot of the stuttering issues, at least temporarily. So that might be a solution for you guys to try if you are a PC player. Head into your temporary folder and clear that shader cache. Now, I know this information doesn't really help console players at all, and I know for some people the frame drops on console at the moment are making the game almost unplayable, so I'm sorry that I can't really help you here, but DICE is 100% working on getting the issue fixed properly and officially, so we don't have to do these kind of workarounds. Personally, I think there are two issues here. One stems from the assignment tracking, which was also an issue back in Battlefield 1's final DLC in early 2018, and the other one is to do with some weird graphical settings that aren't quite right. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see when DICE does fix this issue, but at least we know they are actively working on it now. Okay, moving on to something slightly different, I thought this was quite interesting, some stuff that I wanted to make you guys aware of. The results of the community survey for the month of May for the Battlefield franchise have been compiled. These are the surveys that have been tweeted out by the community managers on Twitter and they're hosted, I think, over on Reddit as well. And the results have now come back to us from the May survey with some interesting things in there. Community manager Adam Freeman revealed these details on Twitter early today and like I said, they make for some interesting reading. Firstly, Arras is currently the top rated map in the game, with Hamada and Fiel being the least popular based on the poll, and to me that's not a surprising result at all. Hamada recently was improved with the map being transformed over to standard Conquest instead of that hideous Conquest Assault version, and Fiel... Well, poor Fiel, it's just not a very good battlefield map, is it? 64 players on a tiny mountain with basically no cover and bomber planes raining down hell on top of you. Maybe DICE just needs to go back to the drawing board with Fiel. The Battle of France Grand Operation, the one that includes Twisted Steel and Arras, is currently the most liked of the four in the game, and Operation Battleaxe, the one that includes Hamada and Aerodrome, is the least liked. And again, I'm not surprised. Neither Hamada nor Aerodrome make for great maps at the best of times. And as a side note, DICE is actively looking into improvements that they can make to the Grand Operation structure within Battlefield 5 at the moment. They're not giving anything away, but I think it's clear that Grand Operations hasn't had anywhere near the impact that DICE believed it would, and the experience is just simply inferior to what we had in Battlefield 1. So it's nice to hear that they're going to try and shake things up a bit in the future. Something else, DICE heard the feedback, apparently loud and clear, that when players say Battlefield 5 doesn't have enough content in it, what those players mean is that there isn't enough multiplayer maps. 
I thought that was fairly obvious considering Battlefield 5 has the least multiplayer maps in it at this point in its life than any previous Battlefield game from the last eight years. I thought it was rather obvious that when people were saying there's no content, they were talking about multiplayer maps. But to address this, more multiplayer maps are coming. EA Play is going to be the place those maps are shown off, and yours truly, as I mentioned at the start of this video, will be there to capture gameplay of the maps and make videos of them to show you all. And the recent shakeup of the map rotations on Conquest servers was to provide the opportunity for more people to stay within the same server for a longer period of time by lining up similar experiences one after another. And that appears to be going quite well at the moment. So there you have it. The patch drops tomorrow for Battlefield 5. That should clear up some annoyances, but it is a shame that the stuttering won't be fixed just yet. I do empathize with the developers and the community with issues like this because it makes the game really infuriating to play, but it's also a very hard fix to implement. The team will get there though. They are working on it. A big thank you for watching today. And until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.